Hello and welcome to the first part of the third person combat tutorial series in UE4. Uh, in this series we'll be setting up a third person combat system uh, with enemy AI. Uh, the idea I've got is like this one-on-one -on -one fighter, like an arena fighter where you fight uh, sort of like different enemy AIs, like different bosses each time. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but in this first video, we're just going to be setting up the player, grabbing some animations from Mixamo, that sort of thing. Now, if you are a complete beginner to Unreal, I would recommend going. I do have a, a beginner's tutorial series, but there are plenty of uh, really great beginner's tutorial series on YouTube. So you should, you should really know how to navigate around, how to use basic blueprints, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, but if you feel ready to move on to make more uh, difficult things, and especially if you want to learn how to do character animations and all that sort of stuff, um, you're in the right place. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up a browser and go to Mixamo and create an account. Now, if you've done anything with animations in Unreal before, you've probably already got an account, so just log in. And then the first thing you want to do is create... Sorry, if you don't have an account, though, just create one, and then um, you should be able to get access to it for free. Um, if not, though, I'll put some of the models and animations that I use in a uh, f in a link that you should be able to get in the description. So, with that said, the first thing you want to do is pick a character. Now, you can pick any character. It doesn't have to be fantasy-based. I've picked this one. Uh, but you know, you go through and pick a character that you like, and then we're going to go to this tab up here and go and grab the animations. Now, the first animations we need, or the first thing we need, is to actually download the mesh, and we're going to download it in this TPO. So, just go up here to download. Um, wait, that's not right. So, let's search for TPOs and then select this first one and then download, and then we're going to get all these options. So I'll, this first download we want with the skin. That's going to download um, the model, the textures, and everything. And then all the rest of them we'll get without skin because we just need the skeleton. Uh, so FBX with skin, 30 frames per second, and just leave key frame reduction to none, and then hit download. And then you'll see a little pop-up down here. And while that's downloading, we'll go and get the other animations. So we need an idle. And we want to, actually, we can grab any of these idols, but what we want to do is grab the um, idol pose for the animations we're going to be using. So we're going to be using sword and shield. Type in sword and shield, and then we'll get... Now, you don't want to download these asset packs that have the entire, um, all of the animations in them because they aren't set up to be in place. Now, you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So... If we, if we have Sword and Shield, though, and just type in Idle afterwards, then we'll get the Sword and Shield Idle, which will have, you know, the correct positions for the arms for when, you know, they're just stood around doing nothing. So for, I'm just going to select this one. I find that for Idle poses, you really want the simplest pose possible. So we're just going to take that one. So we hit Download. This time we want Without Skin, and then keep all the other... Uh, options the same. Hit download. <clears throat> and there we go. We've got that. And it will name it for us as well. Okay, so next one we want is a walk. Let's get correct walk. Uh, now, I don't think we're going to be walking backwards and sideways because we're not going to have a lock-on system. So I think we're only going to need the walk forward. So if I grab that and now click here in place so that animation will just cycle over. So I think that should be fine, but we might come back later on and download some more animations if we need to. So I'll just hit download there. Again, check it's without skin, but it should be if it was set up that way before. <coughs> And then again, we've got another download. So walk, then we want run. Um, again, we'll only need run forward. We want that in place. Okay, and then hit download without skin. 
download. Okay, so we've got run. Now we'll need attack. Uh, so let's just get some of the basic attacks. Now we don't want these that have multiple attacks built into them. No, we don't want that, and we want them to stay in place when we attack. So let's find... So this one is going to be good. Sword and Shield Slash. Okay, so that's going to be our first attack. Download. <coughs> um, and for now, we'll just... We'll just take one attack and get set up with one. In fact, let's get another one so that we can build a combo. All right, we'll get this one as well. Okay, so download. Okay, so what else do we need? Then we'll need a taking damage animation. So I believe they call them impact. Yeah, so taking damage, download. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem here because actually I'm just going to cancel that because these, oh no, they're not called the same thing. They're called different things. That's fine. Download, and then download. And then we also want this one with the shield up. Okay, we'll download that one as well. <coughs> and then we also need an idle with the shield up. Sword and shield. Just type in idle again. What about the shield? So I need to download that one as well. So like I say, if you can't get these assets for whatever reason, I will be able to put them in the link. Um, and we're not going to have a walk with the shield up. We're just going to have you still when you've got your shield up, I think. Um, the idea is we're going to build a relatively simple third-person combat system and then we'll build onto it and add more complexity as we go. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. We might find we need some more, but we'll leave it at that for now. Right, so I'm just going to go into my downloads. And I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this player. Open it up. And I'm going to create two folders. One called... Uh, oh, I'm just going to call it Mesh, and the other one called Animation. Animations. Okay, so first I'm going to open up the Mesh folder, and then I'm going to go to the one that says T-Pose. Oh, it's still downloading that one, actually. The computer's been really slow today. So just go back to the Animation folder. And then we can start putting those in. So sword and shield. Sword and shield walk. Oh, oops. Sword and shield run. Sword and shield slash. Sword and shield impact. Oh, they are called the same thing. So the second one I downloaded was so we'll rename this to Impact um, Shield Up. <clears throat> and last but not least, the blocking idle. Okay, that gives us something to work with. Now, we didn't do a death animation because I think what I'm going to do is just activate Ragdoll when we die. So that should be fun. Okay, so now we've got that, but we need, actually, we need the, um, where is it? This, 20 seconds left. So I'll just pause the video. Okay, so that's ready. So where is it? T-Pose. Just put that onto the desktop for a second. Uh, open up the player folder. 
go to the mesh, pop that in there, and then I'm going to rename that player. Player, I'm just going to call it player. <clears throat> right, so open up Unreal, and then we want to just do the same thing here. We want to create a player folder, and then have the two subfolders, so mesh and animation. And then just import these in. So when we're importing a skeletal mesh, we want to go to the mesh folder and then just drag this in. And then we want to leave all of these as they are uh, and just hit import all. Nice and easy. So again, this might take a minute. So I'll just pause the video. Okay, so that's in, and it's imported in a skeletal mesh, a physics asset, and a skeletal asset as well. Uh, so that's what, everything that we'll need to get this uh, set up, and it's also got the textures. <clears throat> They'll be added soon. So let's go and add the animations. So the only thing we need to do when we add the animations is make sure we attach these to the skeletal mesh we just brought in. So drag those in, come here to skeleton, and, cl and click player skeleton, okay? And then hit import all. With any luck, that won't take so long as time. Okay. And there we go. Even though they look they're looking a little strange. So is there a problem? Right, there seems to be a problem with the mesh uh, in this material. So I'm just going to click on the material to open it up, and I can see here the blend mode is set to translucent. So if I just set that to opaque and then save, that should fix that. Okay, computer's been really slow. And go. Oh. All right, yeah, that seems to have fixed that. So we'll close that. Right, yeah, we can see the materials there. Okay, crisis averted. So now we have in our folder, we have our mesh and our animations. Um, and in the next video, we'll be going, if I like, I've got to make these videos 15 minutes long because I'm using this free uh, recorder. So we've got a couple of minutes left. So while we have, let's just create a new folder inside our player folder and call this Blueprints. And then double click on that to open it up. Right click and create a new Blueprint class. And this wants to be a character. And we're going to call this player underscore BP. And we'll open that up. And this blueprint comes with some uh, character-based stuff already built into it. So that's good. So here where it says the mesh that's inherited, this is a skeletal mesh. We can come over here and click on the player mesh. And there she is. Just lower her down a little bit more maybe. And rotate her so she's facing this blue arrow because that's the front direction. 90 degrees. <clears throat> hit compile and then come over here where it says player BP and then over in the search details type possession or just POSS and then search and then click on the auto possess player and set the player to be player zero. That way when you place her in the world she will be the one that we inhabit. But she's not got a camera attached to her so you know we're just seeing through her eyes. Um, so let's quickly go and add. So click on, on this, um, or you can just click on it in the viewport. And then whatever we add in the component here, add component, will uh, 
be inherited. So it's just a, a nice tip so you don't have to go back and do it afterwards. So we want a spring arm. And then uh, make sure you're clicking on the spring arm. So another camera, and then that will be inherited. And we'll just leave it called camera. Oh, we want to rotate the spring arm. And then lift it up a little bit. Oops. Yeah, things don't always like to be moved when they're inherited, so you can just uninherit that and then move it up. Uh, to about there, and then drag that back on, and it will now be re-inherited. So if we compile that, we should be able to see through, but, you know, we haven't got any code. So now we can see her, but, you know, we can't move. But in the next uh, video, we'll get that set up properly, so the camera rotates, and then we'll hopefully get some animation set up as well.